Mum's coming over tonight. Is Joe speaking. Hi, Avril, how are you? I'm good, thanks. Yeah, I'm getting into that today. All right, have a nice day. Wait till you see the couple of new chicks I've got starting up. I've also got a guy coming in, so it doesn't look too obvious. You all right? This way, guys, and I'll show you where you're Fuck, Victor's the sleaze bag. <coughs> Have you noticed he only employs girls under 25 to work here now? Yeah, I noticed. Isn't that cute guys to look at here anymore? <laughs> um... Oh, fuck it. Was, it, was it the guy from last week? Same yeah, guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That. yeah. Chrissy, it's Sue. This is Joe. He manages the accounts here at NBiz. Hey, guys. Hi, Joe. Hi. Oh, and uh, this is Ewan. Hi, Ewan. Hi. Well, we'll continue on. Wait till you see the hottie I've got coming in tomorrow. This way, guys. Good afternoon, NBiz. Joe speaking. standing next to him. What a slut. No, that's shocking. Yeah. How's your woman going? Yeah, she's good, thanks. Do you think she'll be able to tell if you're doing the dirty on her? Oh, well, I wouldn't, so it's not really relevant. Hey, Joe, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Those bastard gubbos fucking state the way they leave the bins in. Nola's had to ring them to complain twice now. How's work going? Yeah. Got to pay the bills somehow, I guess. How's Marge? Yeah, she's... Haven't seen her lately. Guess she's busy looking after the likes of you. Yeah, you're right. She's... She's well. She's been busy. All right, then. Get in there, mate. OK. See ya. Hey, Mum. Hi, Joe. Mark said you weren't going to be home, otherwise I'd have rung the doorbell. 
Yeah, it doesn't matter. How are you? This is great crockery. Comes with a 10 year warranty. Do you have a night for yourself, Joe? Told Mark she has to have a night for herself too. You have to leave something for yourself in a relationship. Hey, babe. Hey. Mum, drop by. Why does she have to have a key to her house? Because <laughs> she's mum. And she wants to keep a close eye on you. Mm. I'm thinking about changing the locks. <laughs> I'm sure she'll still find a way in. <sighs> now we have to make a decision about that loan. Are we going to go fixed or stay variable? I know. If we stay variable, it's going to kill us. At least if we fix it, we know where we stand. Ugh. I know you hate thinking about this shit. So do I. <clears throat> Enough. Think about it tomorrow. Just reports he wants you to check, but I forgot for what. Okay, thanks, Chrissy. Okay. Is it because I'm over 40 that you don't pay me any attention? You're not so young yourself, Buster. I'm four years older than your son, Helen. You won't suspect anything. Hey, congratulations on your new job. No fucking way. I wouldn't work here if you paid me. Get up. Hey. Hello. Did you just have a new girl walk out on you? Yeah, that little bitch. V. V? Oh, I don't know. That's what she said her name was. She just fucking walked out. I thought, where the fuck did she go? This is Joe from NBIS Solutions. Oh, are you ring to reprimand me? Sorry. It's just not my kind of environment. Why well, stick around and go through emotions, you know? No, no, I was just, I was just ringing it, see, see if you want to meet up with me. Where'd you say to you again? I was in the kitchen. Yeah, why not? Hmm. Conventional. Miss Bakewoods, you know. It's Joe. Does your girlfriend know you're here, Joe? What makes you think I have a girlfriend? Mm-hmm. 
because you're too old to be nervous around chicks. So, where to from here? No, if I was any other chick, I wouldn't even be here right now. Look, I don't want anything from you. I just wanted to meet up with you. I just wanted to see what you were like. I like your honesty, Joe. You know, I've written a manifesto on how to live my life. Might let you read it sometime. I keep it as a reminder on how to live my life. What do you mean a manifesto? Manifesto, don't you know what that means? It's like a declaration of beliefs, or in this case, a, a guideline on how to live a truly fulfilling life, you know? How to be a human being, not a human doing. So that's what you are. Or maybe you're stuck somewhere in between. I've got to go. Hey, meet me after work tomorrow. I want to show you something. Joe, we need to make a decision on the loan. Fix it, that's fine. This is my favourite place. Come over here. <laughs> oh, check out this chick. Stiff collar, power wall. Oh, I just see people like her and I just want to smash them. Oh, look at this movie. Who does he think he is, the fucking Marlboro man? <laughs> <laughs> Can't people see themselves? Fuck, I'll never ever be like that. It's not a laugh, you know. Not these people look like to me. A bunch of people trying to climb over the top of each other to get to the top of a pile of shit. I'm safe. Fucking adults, I hate them. They always pretend to be so smooth and in control like they know the score when really they're drowning in their own shit. I'm gonna climb on that ladder. Come on. I can do it, you can do it. It's a nice night, I don't know. You're getting goosebumps. I don't know. Look at you sitting there with your jacket on. No, I don't worry <laughs> about it. So that's my manifesto. Oh, yeah. Change any routine when you're feeling bored. When I change things in my life, I feel alive. Be totally honest. Say and do what you want. Yeah. Don't hold back. People always hold back their real opinions. I hate that. It's so fake. Honesty is so refreshing. Even if it hurts. What, have you got the guts to say the first thing that comes to your mind, Joe? The manifesto, point number three. Wear your heart on your sleeve. Become your emotion. So if you're vulnerable, be vulnerable. If you're angry, get angry. That sounds dangerous. You know what I mean. You just don't have to pretend to be in control all the time. If 
Her manifesto, point number four. Push people past their breaking point. Don't look at me like that. People are scared. Not many people do what they actually really want. You can push people into situations they actually want to be in, but don't have the guts to. And then they'll appreciate. The manifesto, point number five, is don't use alcohol or drugs to express yourself. It's a real cheat. People use alcohol as an excuse to do things that they always wanted to do but never had the guts to. Anyway, extreme behaviour is far more exhilarating when you're sober. Okay, here's one. Inns bars. Can you check? to work extremely hard. The payoff will come later in life. Big escalation. Where's the show now? Kaiser, he insisted on running the end. No, you're not happy at the moment. I don't want to push you, just whenever you're ready. You're not pushing me. Okay. You know, watching TV is a real waste of time. What? TV tells you what to think. It's bullshit. I watch too much of it. Well, we should stop. Hey Chrissy, uh, I hope you don't mind the fact the only reason why Victor gave you a job here was because you're so cute. Okay. No, I don't mind. But I'm not the only one who's cute looking. I'm not single. Yeah, I heard that. between you two. Why are you jealous? What? And what are you doing after work?
I start a skateboard this morning? Mm-hmm. Okay. drastic action. You have to make the break. That's how affairs start. You know, and you might be able to get back together after that, but it'll never be the same. Society likes to keep couples together. So we become these little family consuming units. And we're made to think that when there's a big problem in their relationship, it's a bad thing, but fuck, it's, it's a sign. Move on. If you want to fuck someone else, just do it. It's natural. Human beings are not monogamous. I mean, face it. Most people think about it. You want passion? Or habit? I know what I want. If I'm with someone, I want it to be intense. I think we should break up. When did you decide this? About 30 seconds ago. I'm unhappy in this relationship. I'm not getting what I want. About 30 seconds ago? I'm going to move out in a couple of weeks. Until then, I'll just take the spare room. Who was that you were having lunch with yesterday in the car park? That's V. Who's V? V is my new friend. Fuck friend more like it. Chrissy. <laughs> oh shit. Time. What do you think of me? What? You're as edgy when you're around me. Are you attracted to me? Yeah, I was around. Alright, see you later. See you later. Hello. Where's your car? I want to see you tonight. Are you fucking joking? I married Joe to a man that's watching us just 10 metres away. Maybe he's my little. Oh, 
Hi. Mark, can I ask you a question? Do you ever fantasize about other men? What? Look. I don't mean to be rude, I just always wondered. So that's what this is about? Fucking other people? Hmm? Look, I still want to live here. I don't really have a place to go just yet. And uh, in terms of paying off the house, you can buy me out, I'll buy you out, whatever. Bit of a gloomy day, a bit grey, huh? Yeah. How was work, all right? Yeah, it was... How's March? Tom, uh, if you don't really care about the answer, then you shouldn't really ask the fucking question. Hey, Lisa. Hi. Sorry, I've forgotten your name. Joe. Joe. Your car at the garage. I've seen you coming and going a few times. I met Mark. Ted met her the other day as well. She's really nice. You happy? Happy being married, Lisa? Pardon? Well, you guys seem like you haven't been married for long. I guess things must still be kind of spicy. Marg and I were engaged to be married, but we just broke up. Yeah, it's been nice talking to you, Joe. Um, I'll see you next time. What was so nice about it? Sorry? I don't know who he is anymore. Joe! Look, I don't know what else to tell you that you don't already know, all right? I don't want to get married. I don't want to have kids. I definitely don't want you as a fucking mother-in-law, all right? In fact, I prefer to fucking never see you again. Do you have any idea what you've put us through the last few days? This decision of yours has come out of nowhere and you expect us to accept it? Why don't you just mind your own fucking business? You're a child. You're pathetic. I'm safe looking. Close. What are you talking about? Looks to be deceiving, you know. You wait until you get inside my joint, you lot. How long have you been living here? Boring question. Not answering that. You're doing the right thing, Joe. Have you thought about having sex with me in the last two minutes? <laughs> you can't just give it, you've got to take it too. you got a man, don't you? Uh, at the moment I have three. All beautiful, all sexy and all not trying to possess me. And it ends when it has to, not a moment later. Are you in love? No. Cool room, huh? How do you know that you're not real? What? Oh, nothing. Want to do something extreme? I remember when you were a kid and we used to get together and go bike riding with friends, yeah? Um discovering things and climbing fences, that sort of stuff. And then when you get home, you know, you discover cuts and bruises, but it doesn't matter because you had fun, yeah? Now when you meet up with people, it's just 
you know, in pubs or cafes or some other boring fucking place. Usually talking a heap of shit. I just miss the days of, you know, being a kid. I miss Saturday afternoon adventures, that kind of thing. Hey, what's your name? And instead of walking everywhere, you drive. You get fat and unhealthy. Cars are killers. Come on. Now let's try and get home. Come on. You're so suburban. I can't believe you threw my keys in the river. <laughs> Hello? I have someone inside me. Uh, and he's got me on my back. I'm here. I don't know what you want me to say. Nothing. I'm just telling you. Oh, it's making me really hot just hearing your voice. I'll oh, speak to you later. Hey. Calling you last night. Uh, no, that's fine. But if you did, that's good too. Did you masturbate over? <sighs> <Come on. laughs> you did. You dirty, dirty man. Did you feel jealous? A bit, yeah. I couldn't believe you rang me. What well, was manifesto point number before? Did you ring me one day when you're fucking someone? I think that would make me jealous. Maybe one of those girls at work. Fucking anyone at work? Yet. So how's the parking lot girl going? Um... She wants me to make her jealous by fucking someone else. So you have broken up with your fiance? Yep. Hold on. So parking lot girl wants you to make her jealous by fucking someone else? Joe, that's sick. Sounds like a freak. But, um, I'm not busy chat. This is really hard to watch. That is really hard. <laughs> I asked you to fuck someone else. I didn't ask you to give me a video of it. Did you have fun? Um, yeah. Don't give me that, um, yeah bullshit. You had an awesome time. That chick is hot. That's hot. Fuck, it hurts. I once asked this guy if he could make me jealous and he gave me like a sexy letter that some chick had written him. I reckon he wrote it himself anyway. But you have actually made me feel something, Joe. And I like it. Did she see it? Yep. What's she saying? I'm not telling her. Here it comes.
Ellie, can you come to my office for a moment? Yes, Joe, can I help you? Did you enjoy being with me the other night? <laughs> Joe, can we keep that conversations professional, please? I have this fantasy about fucking someone I've never seen before, I don't see during or after. You're sick. Set me up with one of those sexy friends I've seen you with. Come on, you told me you have some really horny friends, women who cheat on their husbands at the drop of a hat. Just tell them you've had a taste of me and I'm all right. Tell them I'm 10 years their junior. And afterwards, there'll be no issues about me telling anyone about them because I won't know their name, I won't know their face, and they won't know mine. <laughs> this is really starting to make me laugh. Shh. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Okay. Take my position. Shh. Picky place. Oh, sorry, am I allowed to talk? You can talk. I've uh, never done anything like this before. So, this is a fantasy of yours, huh? What the fuck was that? Shut up. Stop talking. She's looking into it? She will make sure she is. Excellent. His last quarter sales reports in the RN notes. What's going on between you and Helen? Nothing, as far as I know. Whenever your name comes up in notes and stats, she's rolling her eyes. See the look she gave you right then? Maybe I'll have a chat to her. No, no, don't. If you're loading off work onto her that you shouldn't be, you'll hear about it, believe me. I'll speak to her first. I want to talk to you.
Hi. I've decided to move out. So in that case, you'll have to buy me out. I'm going to have the house valued. No problems. Take your time. You know why you're lucky being a man? Because there's a challenge in seducing people for you. An average looking chick can seduce most men with a bit of charm, but an average looking guy with a bit of charm can't. Yeah, guys are more desperate than girls. It's genetic, supposedly. If I were a guy, I'd seduce a woman just for the challenge. I want you to think of someone that you don't think you could seduce. Like preferably someone you know. And that way the stakes are higher. I want to see if he can pull it off. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Joe. How can I help you? I'm just wondering if you want to come over for a drink or something sometime. Oh, um... Yeah, yeah, sure, that'd be good. No, not now. I mean, sometime when Mike isn't home. <laughs> Joe, why do you insist on making our relationship as neighbours as uncomfortable as possible? Don't mean to. Look, if, if you want, I'll tell my husband Ted about this. Is that what you want? I don't really care. <laughs> oh, I should not. <laughs> How can she resist you? I tried, I tried. I have to meet this Ted husband of hers. I should see if I can seduce him. Do you want me to call the police? You must be Lisa. Hi, Joe. Hi, Ted. Oh, we just want to come and talk. Hi, Mr. Ted. I'm B. Me and Joe want to fuck you and your wife. Is it Joe? Oh, can we come in? No, you can't come in. Who the fuck do you think you are? Well, we're just a young couple, just bored with the conventional options and looking for some fun and stimulation. And we just get a thrill out of pushing people's boundaries, especially middle class, conservative, repressed. Heterosexual, monogamous couples. You guys really can't be happy. You're peddling your little cycle of drudgery and routine, and you know, oh, we're not saying that we're going to be a cure for it, but we can offer some temporary distraction. We're a clean young couple who can blow you and your husband's hair back with a bit of a thrill. Why am I standing here listening to you? Ted! What? Oh, shit. <laughs> wow. <laughs> oh, that's your house over there, isn't it? Yeah. You have to face these people every day. <laughs> when you come and get the mail, when you're watering your lawn. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That's the spirit. All right, got any other ideas? I'm on a roll. Christy. Joe. What the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> this is really boring. When's your boyfriend get home? Mm, after eight. We better be hot. And a bit of a challenge. Oh, they'll be really pissed off. Just making you jealous? Yeah, it is. Does it hurt? Yep, it does. What the fuck are you two talking about? Do you want me to stop? I want to see you kiss her. What? I'm serious. Oh, what is this fucking primary school? <laughs> nah. Come on. No. Nah. Come on, seriously, kids. I want to see. <laughs> what the 
the fuck is this? Babe. <laughs> Surprise. Coming in, but I'm gonna go. Hi, Mug. If you want the truth, I'm struggling, Joe. Sickening. You're in love. <laughs> Am I? Not that I think I have a chance with you now that you're so in love, but I would love to. Whatever.
Lisa? Here we go again. Hey, baby. Hey. Let's have you come back tonight. Tonight. Let's go somewhere. I'm going home. What? What's going on? Nothing. I just I just need to go home. What's the matter with you? You used to be so sexually aggressive. I'm not gonna eat you. Unless you want me to. Come on, play with me. We're seeing each other way too much. We're becoming like a boring couple. We're not doing anything exciting anymore. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're exactly right, and I'm becoming too emotionally attached. Yeah, fuck it. From here on, let's do fucking whatever. Doesn't matter. Let's not call each other too much, hang out too much, just whatever. As you said, we'll just throw it to fate. I want a demotion. A what? I don't want my job anymore. None of us want to hit jobs, mate. Look, I only need something with around 20 hours a week. I only need enough to live. You're serious? Yeah, I am serious, and you can arrange it. There's, like th there's three other fucking people that can do my job here. I got demoted. What? Who demoted you? I did. What the fuck are you talking about? Is this some kind of joke? Nope. Well, my other job was. What's with the overalls? It's the new me. Whatever. I want to see you tonight. Helen, your husband is watching us as we speak. I'm not interested in you anymore. Really? You know, I'm not surprised your wife wants to fuck me. Look at you. For anything like you look like, you must be one boring fuck. You have thought for yourself, you fucking goon. Sorry, dude, just expressing myself. 
once you try telling someone what you really think, it's a great release. Hey. Hey, what's up? I'm going back to my neighbor's house now. You up for it? Oh, no. Come on, Ted. We'll see you for a chat. Let us in. Lisa's busy. It doesn't matter. Just let us in. No, I don't think so, Joe. All right. I just want to ask you one question. What do you think of this life you've created for yourself? I don't know. It's just what you do, Joe. You and Margaret have done it. Oh, so you've created a particular life for yourself. You don't even know why. What a fucking joke. You gotta fuck it, don't you? Do you think about fucking women other than Lisa often, Ted? <laughs> you didn't ask me, Ted. Have you thought about fucking women other than Lisa often? Get off my property! <sighs> All right, have you ever thought about fucking women while you fuck Lisa? Come on, Ted, have the guts to be honest. Oh, yeah, I like to walk through the next $16 Come on, babe, let's go. How about you, Lisa? Are you happy with this life you've created for yourself, this house, your job? Hey, Lisa, have you thought about sucking a man's cock? Come on, admit it. What do you want me to say, Joe? Maybe? That we think we're perfect? We do think about our choices, you know, about the other options that we could have taken, but we don't do it. It's called commitment. It's called sacrifice. It's called caring for each other. But you would know a thing about that, would you? Because you're a selfish asshole. I pity Margaret. That was real. Chrissy. Joe. Take the top off. Mm. Take the top off. Took it off. Push yourself to an emotional edge. Your boyfriend's gonna be here soon. Change any routine when you're feeling bored. We've done this before, Joe. Fuck up, square knives. Where's your suit? Got a new job. New job. How much are you making in this new job of yours? I'll have enough to make payments, so don't worry about it. I'll be out of your hair soon. <coughs> Mum's waiting for me outside. Is she? Control freak, how are you today? Trying to control everyone? It's been fucking always, you fucking nutbag. <laughs> and we don't want any more of your tacky crockery. <laughs> 20 years of repression coming out, baby! Hey! Hey, hey, hey. I just wanted to say hi before I went home. 
Great. Hey, what's up, Sue? Well, we're gonna hang out, Sue. Sue, if it wouldn't affect our work relationship, I'd really like to fuck you. Come on, don't tell me never to do. Hey, fucking wake up, hide behind your fucking Ray Ban sunglasses. What the fuck are you up to, Joe? You're gonna lose your job here, is that what you want? Between the three of us, I'll pretend nothing's happened. But if Sue wants to take this further, you're screwed. Victor, what do you think of your life? What? To be honest with you, there's something really gutless about the way you live your life. A married man that's always leering around women at the office, talking about how you want to do this and that to them, never actually doing anything. Chrissy, uh, do you know how many times I used to work up here? Victor used to tell me how much you wanted to fuck you, commenting on your cute little ass, telling me how much he wanted you to suck his cock. It's okay, Victor. I don't mind. Chrissy, put your hand on Victor's knee. Go on. Go on. Relax, Victor. Office is empty. Now what? I'll suck him off. When are you going to see me next? I don't know. I haven't seen you properly for ages. Well, what are you doing tonight? Nothing. All right, cool. I'll come here at eight. This is Matt. Leave a message. Hey, Matt, you want to get your cock sucked by a sexy stranger? Eildon Road, Hillercrest, there's an alleyway that comes off it. Take it all the way to the end and stairs all the way up to the top. 8 p.m., call me back if you want. Matt. Joe? Was that for real? Yep, yeah, she loves fucking total strangers. Is she cute? Yeah, but if you don't think so, just leave. What is this tonight? Yes, stop thinking about it so much, just go. All right, better not be fucking with me. I've heard you've been up to some weird shit lately. Shut up, see ya. Hi, Joe. Sorry to disrupt you at work. To you, Helen is just the unhappy married woman at work for you to have a fling with. For me, she's my wife and I love her. People have their issues, their problems, and you should support them. I hope you sort out yours. I don't have it easy for your wife anymore, so don't worry about it. That was Matt. Have you lost your fucking mind? You're getting too attached. I fucking love you, you bastard. Yeah, well, don't. Let's break this off, totally. I'm getting bored of you. I gotta go, see ya. speech, I was curious whether or not you'd come. Now you can leave.
Christ, cock, you suck. Fucking suck it better. Oh, stop fucking crying. You know why you're here. Because you fucking love it. You love coming here and sucking cock on me. Piss all over you. You are pathetic. You and your family and your fucking husband. You're fucking pathetic. You're fucking pathetic. space before I go to work. Yeah, I'm sick, sorry. Oh, I should have called. Okay, I'll be there soon. Okay, bye. I miss you. <laughs> you need help. What if I said I wanted you to give us another chance? Are you joking? Do you think this is a game? I know what you've been up to. Lisa next door had a chat with me last week. Victor also called me. I'm gonna find another job. You do what you want. I'm out of here in two weeks. Where are you going? I'm staying at Mum's for a bit, then I'm getting my own place. Happening. I wanted to see you, Joe. I know you might be busy, but I miss you. Look, um, this really isn't a good time, all right? Can I, can I call you? 
Can you call me? I'm not fucking strangers, Joe. Just, you just have to leave it for another time. I'll call you, I promise. How are you going to get home? On my bike. Hi, Mum. Hi, Joe. Uh, Margo, I just want to speak to your mum for a moment. Um, I just wanted to um, apologise for everything. Um, I was just going through some stuff and it just came out and I'm sorry. Um, I don't expect you to forgive me. I just, I just wanted to tell you that I was sorry. Thanks, Joe. I know these things happen. Okay. I'll get it. I want you to come home with me. I need to talk to you. So what's your job at the moment? Are you still a janitor? I quit. Joe? going on? It's over, all right? Our time together was amazing. <laughs> it's amazing that it's over, all right? We did things couples should never do. Yeah, but that's what I think. We just took things too far and this time we'll just take it a bit slower. I just want things to be like they used to be when we first met. You remember. Everything was perfect then. All we had was beautiful. It was the most beautiful experience I've ever had. We're perfect for each other, Joy. Hey, come on. I just, I just think that, that may, maybe, <laughs> everything without you is. Look, I'm gonna go. All right, we'll continue this another time. No, no, no.
came here on lunch break that first time we met up. What did you think of me when you first saw me? I thought you were awesome. Do you want to know what I thought of you when I first saw you? I thought this guy really needs a room. <laughs> no, I, I just thought you were a rough little diamond. Hey, can you get your job back? And then it will seem like we really first met. <laughs> That's impossible. Why? I can't get back there. But they'll take you back. Because I let things get really out of hand with people. Yeah, well, you can patch that up. Do you just have to tell that girl Chrissy to keep her hands off you? So, what are your plans at the moment? What do you mean? I'm all right. I, I'm just not up to working that much. How do you think you can get your old job back? And then I can come visit you on your lunch break like I used to. Problem. She's not letting go. She says she wants things to be like it used to be. She wants me to go back to Victor's, all this sort of shit. She has lost it. And I've got to I've got to keep spending time with her. I don't know what the fuck she might do. Look, I'm in a real jam here, you gotta understand. I really don't give a shit. I don't want to be a part of any of your games. I'm not playing games. I never lied to you. I was always honest. That's what this whole thing was about, was being honest. You probably should get your old job back. You won't find anything that well paid. job back. If you want it, you can have it. Start tomorrow. Sort of security again. Yeah, and it's not like you have to become a nine to five robot. You can take a day off here, innit? Hmm. I heard you were coming back. Hey, Chrissy. You back for good? Uh, I don't know. I have to be here at the moment. What do you mean you heard I was coming back? Oh, um, Victor's been struggling to fill the position. <laughs> we had this one woman, but she was hopeless. Anyway, I'm glad you're back. Thank you. 
Hey! That chick you set me up with was your girlfriend. How can you do that? Look, I'm sorry, Matt. It was all a big mistake. Hey, hey, hey. You screamed at me, asking me what the fuck I was doing there. I'm sorry, Matt. You're sick, mate. Hi, Mom. Hey. How was your first day back? It's terrible. You know, I've been sitting here for the past month watching yourself destruct become this man I didn't recognise. But you should be proud of yourself. Not many people would have the courage to do what you did. You lived honestly and you found your boundaries now and that's gonna make you a better person. In a way, that makes me proud of you. Can I speak to you for a moment? I um, just want to say there is a reason that I acted the way that I did. I just went with the flow of my thoughts and my feelings no matter where it took me and it was wrong of me to treat you the way that I did. I'm not saying I'm sorry it happened but I am saying it won't happen again. Despite my actions, you are someone that I always liked and I respected and that hasn't changed. About what happened the other day, I didn't want to force you into anything. I know how it looked. And uh, from your actions, I can only presume things haven't gone well since. Is that all you have to say? Then you can leave. Only come back when it's a work-related issue. Can I ask you a question? Why just give him my job back? As I said, when it's a work-related issue. Hi, baby. Hey. Can I come in? Yeah, of course. Are you alright?
book. This can't go on anymore. I can't be with you. You have to let me go. V, that manifesto of yours opened me up so much. I can't tell you how much, and at that point in my life, I needed it, but it is bullshit. You can't live a life like that, it's wrong. And it's selfish, and you'll burn out, and you have, look at you. And you don't love me, and if you think you do, you are wrong. If we stay together, you just get bored of me, or you need someone else. Our time is over and you need to write a new manifesto for yourself. <laughs> you know. <laughs> Sometimes in life you've got to be careful not to break your own heart. for a moment? Sure. I love you in the most mature way that I can. I have pushed you away, I know, but I just want to be with you again. I miss you. I miss being intimate and close with you. And, uh, I know I will do the right thing by you and by us. I believe you, Joe. I do. But I can't be with you. Too much has happened.
Hey, man. Hi, Joe. Um, you know how I said I was sorry about everything? Well, I'm not. I meant everything. What I'm sorry about is how I said it to you. I could have done it much more nicely. So what I meant to say is I think you're too controlling about things that don't concern you. I don't like it, and neither does Marg. But other than that, you're great. Thanks, Joe. I'll uh, just go in and see Marg. say the other day was if you're going to ask a question you should just always listen to the answer all right have an awesome day